Alright, welcome back everybody to Hogwarts Legacy. I'm your host, Admiral Tintin. And on this session today, we are going to go talk to Sebastian to find the hidden secret to the library. Let's hope that things go smoothly and we don't make a big mess of things. Here's our little guide. He'll tell us where we're going. And let's hope we can get there in a timely manner. On this episode today, I'm going to try and keep things... A little bit more back to the original until I find out whether or not you guys prefer if you thought, if you more when the we were alive, I wouldn't be old way or the new now, way. Whether you prefer the snippet or not. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I uh, peed in his oatmeal. I dumped out his cereal. I don't know. <laughs> I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. He can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling yeah. on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. He can hold his own against her. Hmm. All right, here we go. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. <laughs> spells are free. No, I almost messed that up. Okay, now I gotta put it in my thing, yeah. Okay, uh, we are going to put it into that slot. I don't think I want to say anything on fire. Nearby adversaries will sense the investigation behavior and being caught by authority figures will result in quest failure. Wow. So don't mess it up or I your buttercup. I cannot see you. Shall pretend.
Ethan's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. That's my thinking. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Aloha Mora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti-Aloha Mora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Well, he went and made a ruckus at the wrong darn time. Was someone there? Is that you, Peeves? You make a lot of noise. so difficult after all. How to find that book. <laughs> oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled yeah. me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Great, so now I gotta cast a spell to make noise so that it draws attention. Great. Ghost, don't let her see you. Should be in the clear now. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. 
Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help her? No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Well, I gotta dump some gear. Again. Oh, I hate this. Throwing away perfectly good gear. Should be a way to store this. Noble's cloak. Why is that book? Revelio. Being all jumpy. Spin a globe. One of fifty. Wow. Oh, nice. Who have we here? Oh, this the guy. Christian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty. You'll get caught. Peeves, don't you. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> That guy's oh, annoying. Blasted peeves! I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Huh. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. <laughs> Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? Oh, darn it. I know just the spell to repair this armor. Yeah, we do. That's... Ah, hogwash. Repair armor. I don't like being in debt to anybody from Slytherin either. Because they've had a bad history. Malachi, his daddy, you know, Voldemort. There's only very few Slytherins that I would actually trust from the shows, and that was Snape, Professor Snape, because <clears throat> he was a decent guy. Sorry, Cat was uh, doing her normal meowing when she's... Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. The 
Let me guess. It's going to say I have too much gear, so we're going to remove that before I open that box because I'm going to lose it. There. Tan riding attire. Where might this lead? Ah, uh, okay, story time. No, guess not. Here we go. Repair. Mm. Lumos. What is that above there? Rebellion. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Revelio Guards Man, I can't roll. We figured that one out. It's a little late to tell me that, when you think. All right, onward and homeward. Two guards. Wow! Beauty! <laughs> I kind of knew that was going to happen on the last one, not this one. Darn it. This must be the way forward, but to where? Revelio. Did they disappear? Nearly there. Oh, what the uh, Sam Hooney? It moves. Oh, that's tricky. Oh, darn. Okay, there's another one somewhere, right? No, there's a box over there. Oh, oh, tricky. So what if I hit this? And I was standing on that one. Oh, it just completely drops. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try it. And my guy doesn't want to jump for a tickling pick. Oh, 
Nazi. Okay, now if I hit that. Oh, that's tricky. Rebellion. Your gear slot is full. Gotta be kidding me. Oh. Every single time, I'm telling you, I hate that. Okay, I don't care. Goodbye. I need whatever's in this box. Okay, can I put that back? <laughs> Okay, now I gotta be over here. Hit that one. Just like so. Okay. Okay, onward and homeward. Some bosses here, Mort. Wow, uh, yeah, hello, how are you all doing, getting my butt whooped, that's what's happening, alright, let's get try it this way, it is let, a book after all, alright,
Oh, they just made hogs need. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganach. When we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But... Let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. No oh boy, something tells me that she got mad because her brother Sebastian. fell ill and died and she went mad or angry and became evil. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said... Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Wow, I uh, have a different kind of respect for that fellow. That's uh, that speaks volumes. Wow. Find a way to repay that guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, I really hate that Peeves ghost. Hang on, I gotta shut my cat up. My apologies, I'll try to mute the mic, um, you know, when I'm not doing things because obviously I don't need you guys to happen to hear that nonsense in the background. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still... I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Yeah, I've already done lots of that. Like I didn't wait for the other guy to leave the room before he started babbling on about the book. It's like, really? Just, you know, spit it out. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Okay. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Uh. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay. So I really need to sell gear. I'm I'm disposing of it more than I'm like it's insulting that I'm getting rid of so so much stuff. Uh like seriously okay I'm not even gonna go into that because I know darn well what that's gonna do 
That's the closest I got. This is crazy. I gotta run all the way outside. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Yes, it is. Thank you. We'll go out there and see what she wants. We'll see how much more time we have after that. We've got like 10 minutes or so of the video. <laughs> what the? What in the heck, guys? Oh, I can't repair it. He just destroyed the other. <laughs> and they got angry. Beat each other up. That's uh, hilarious. Whoa, that thing is nuts. We're going to use the book. Keep an eye out for any kind of floating pages. Thought I heard something. Okay. Craftables, we'll take those. Lots I'm going to have to explore later. Lots and lots. I'm just glad time doesn't seem to be a factor. What the heck? Lots of flowers again. What is this? Revelio. Oh, it's like another way out of Hogwarts. Sure it is. Okay. Oh. Thought it was a cliff for a minute there. Look at the beautiful landscape they've done. Keeper tools. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. What exactly can prove? Wow, he's probably talking about the hut. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd, the two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. 
I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Be on my guard, yeah. Are you dragging me all the way out here? What the? You threaten me. What's going on here? Revelio. Across the water. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness, yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Yeah, I'll just get on that. Tithing in the lake doesn't sound too appealing. <laughs> An underwater adventure sounds like fun. Well, I do like uh, water swimming, but I don't know, man. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Well, all right then, if you say so. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. 
I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My oh, best great. guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It a would furlong. be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Yeah, do you have uh, I any hope breathing you find apparatus? The astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. I can dive and hold my breath for how long? And what is northeast? Okay, there's the comp. Oh, okay, yeah, the northeast. So, right there. All right, maybe if I go this way. And jump in from over here. I must have come this way. Think. I thought. I thought. I thought. I thought. And I thought again. Did I think enough? No way. Check it out. They allowed swimming. Sick. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Your gear slot is full. You. That is the worst darn thing ever. I'm telling you right now, that is going to just... <sighs> it's just going to really eat me alive. Fine dueling gloves, great. Not what I'm looking for, I don't care. There it is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. And just so you know, that was not northeast of the docks. So if you look at the docks. It was like nor well okay. Okay. Pretty close. More north than northeast though. North by northeast. We'll turn this in and then I'll do some explorations off camera. And uh I won't pick up any quests that are not on camera. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Yeah. Thank like, you again. Geez. And I do hope you keep diving. 
You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Apparently. We're gonna mask. Side quest relationships. All right, everybody. I appreciate you tuning in on this episode. I'm super grateful you've enjoyed my videos thus far. Please don't forget to give them a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, leave a comment below if you wish to. And we'll see you on the next show.